Hi, welcome back to another episode of Tuba People TV, where we talk about Earl Jacobs, and maybe today Vincent Chickowitz and Adolf Herseth as well. We'll see mm -hmm. how it goes. Mm -hmm. But Petals and I are here in beautiful, wonderful Strasbourg, France, with a very old and dear friend, mm -hmm. Michelle Calvarac. Michelle, I can't believe that yeah. I'm seeing you here. Well, I'm so glad we <laughs> have the opportunity. I've been I've been looking for you yeah. for yeah. six seven years uh, on the internet. Yeah, and uh, I'm not on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that. That you no, you're not. <laughs> but um, um, mm -hmm. uh, um, Michelle and I were housemates in Chicago in what was called the Brass House uh, in Evanston, Illinois, for uh, for a while, and uh, he was in town. Uh, uh, visiting from France to study with with uh, Mr. Jacobs and Mr. Chikowitz and Mr. Herseth, mm -hmm. um, and he had several um, several visits of that uh, mm -hmm. extended stay type of visits where he got multiple lessons over many years. Mm -hmm. um, but initially, you were uh, at a, uh, a Tom uh, Tom Stevens. Mm -hmm. uh, seminar, yes, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, summer seminar, mm -hmm. um, and he recommended that you go see Jacobs. Yes, and um, our mutual friend um, Bob Walp, who plays in the Houston Symphony, trumpet, mm -hmm. um, helped all of this come to pass. To yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's sort of a, a quick version of the backstory. When you got to Mr. Jacobs' studio, what do you what do you remember from those those days? Well. Uh, First of all, um, when I get there, I had some trouble. And uh, when I was younger, I could play normally a lot of things. And uh, in the summer course with Thomas Stevens as well, I was playing nicely, normal. And uh, I was really uh, willing to, to do a lot of things and uh, later by later I was doing this summer course three four times or five even with Mr. Stevens with Mr. Stevens Jim Stamp as well oh yeah Jim Stamp at right. first was Jim Stamp it worked fantastically Jim Stamp and after the years probably I wanted to do too much and everything just Starts to 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 become a stiff and didn't work because the, probably the conscious was too strong. And uh, when Thomas Stevens saw that, he said, uh, "I know where you have to go <laughs> to fix that, and probably you have to see Vincent Cinkovich for the trumpet and as well for all the basic things, Arlo Jacobs." And so I have had the opportunity to come in the States in, uh, this was in 81, with the Toulouse Orchestra. I was playing fourth as extra player and they had, um, they needed a trumpet player for the tour in the United States. So I said, okay, do that. Uh, I could still play for trumpet. And um, uh, I decided, okay, I will... Uh, keep in touch through Thomas Stevens who told me I have a student there in Chicago in Chicago mm -hmm. that would, could With help you Bob Walt Bob Walt yeah. yes and he, um, he has been a great help for, for this and uh, so we we when the orchestra went back to France I stayed I stayed this was in New York so I took the plane to Chicago and I arrived in Chicago and I was welcomed by uh, uh, Bob Walt and to say at his uh, studio, mm -hmm. student studio he had mm -hmm. at that time. And uh, so I happened to get lessons for, f I stayed five weeks in May 81 in, uh, in Chicago. And so I had the opportunity to play for Chico H and Arnold Jacobs to see if what, what, uh, what happened with me what what's your problem what was going on yeah. what was going on and so i get my first lesson with Shikovic 
Unfortunately, the same day, Arnold Jacobs told me you have a lesson oh. on the same day, but it was right. like one, one hour later. One hour later. <laughs> well, no. I couldn't refuse <laughs> because I know how busy they were and yeah, that so was exceptional. It was to, to have the opportunity to, yeah. to play for them. So I accept that. And I, it, it seems to me from what I remember now, my first lesson with Jacobs was, uh, f f for my side, I was so, um, I would say, uh, very embarrassed because I arrived so late at the lesson because of the timing. I couldn't do better. Right. I arrived 40 minutes late. And, mm -hmm. and for the first contact, this was the, the, the worst thing you can, you can do, I, I can imagine. But it didn't seem to... You had a, a very long contact after that, so he didn't hold it against you. Yeah, right. He still took your money. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, what did you get but, done in that 20 minutes, would you say? Uh, and then, and then the, uh, it, it surprised me. It, it, no, it was normal, of course, but he kept me the 20 minutes left. Of course, another student was waiting after me. Right. So at uh, the first contact, it was very brief. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I understood right away that I was in the right place because uh, he, he, he just showed me what well, you need to breathe, <laughs> you need to blow. <laughs> Here's a machine, you test this, test that. I felt like, wow, that uh, that's uh, that's a good thing. And most, uh, and after I repeated so much every time. What you have to do is send a message. You play by reflex response by stimuli, and that was the, mm -hmm. the main thing I remember for the first time, reflex response to stimuli. What does that mean? I have tried to figure it out. And uh, from that point, I took more lessons, of course, after that. And uh, I get better and better, little by little. And I must say that I'm still at it. I watch every day what I have to think <laughs> to, 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 to sound good. Mm -hmm. And from all his advice, uh, which were the right, the right one. Yeah. And, and what I would say from Arnold Jacob is that it was telling what really happened when you play this instrument. He knows so much about the truth of how our body works and how it works through our brain thoughts. And uh, later by later I understood better all these concepts. And uh, I must say even that maybe it's only Five or six years, I understand. Will I understand really what it means, and I understood better and better as well as I was teaching. Right. right. So as you were teaching, these these ideas would were evident, more 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 evident, more evident in, yeah. in your own application. In my own application, yeah. And I remember what what said my father once when uh, when my father who trumpet trumpet great and, trumpet and, player in France and, yeah. and teach in the conservatory in, in Toulouse and, and he said to his students uh, I've learned a lot with you oh. and uh, I understand that yeah it's, right. it's true it is true Michel you mentioned uh, uh, how you were on tour with the Toulouse Orchestra and I forgot to mention at the very uh, beginning that, of course, you 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 played with Toulouse as an extra mm -hmm. uh, yeah. trumpet, but also you were a uh, um, uh, solo trumpet with the Grand Canary Orchestra yes. phil or Philharmonic for many years. Yeah, for six years I had the opportunity to play uh, in the Grand Canary Philharmonic Orchestra. This came after a period. Um, after my Chicago experience in, and uh, uh, studies with those great uh, teachers, mm -hmm. um, I first uh, started to do a brass quintet with my father in Toulouse, and we did uh, some uh, mini concerts in the area. I'm now about to teach uh, 23, 24 hours 
uh, a week mm -hmm. and uh, mainly uh, beginners mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, I have some uh, middle age uh, students and some adult students who are coming back playing the trumpet and I have the opportunity to teach them the principle I've been uh, learning in Chicago and they are so far they are the, the, the adults they said wow it's it's so much better to think that way and mm -hmm. it works b better so I'm glad that uh, it uh, it's useful yeah uh, in my experience and uh, I'm very glad of this and with the, the beginners of course uh, remember what was saying Jacobs uh, in his um, interview a lot when you start a beginner just show him how you play and and that's it you go home and you try to imitate my sound <laughs> and I try to do I mean not I try I do that kind of approach and it works fine uh, so far I'm, uh, I'm quite uh, happy with the results I must say that's great yeah. so uh, just you mentioned machine with Jacobs machines and and yes. uh, blow and breathe any yes. anything else to add to yes that? when i started i was quite uh, already with vince Jusikovic, uh, uh he, he just make me take the mouthpiece backwards and blow <sighs> okay now one sound that's where it goes <laughs> and from that point of course we did a long time very relaxed way and he was very quiet talking and that was big change of all the uh, let's say the, the uh, agitation I don't know if the right word uh, but in France you have to play this concerto this music all that and no matter if you are not prepared you have to do it because you're supposed to be in that level after the conservatory you go to Paris conservatory mm. superior you have to play this music this concert you are not ready for it the teacher are, uh, have a, a lot of uh, will to do the best mm -hmm. but um, uh, the the real truth I found it with Arnold Jacobs because he's he just said okay you you don't have the right reflexes of blowing so good he, he has his machine and we blow and we don't have to think anything you just do the thing and it works and you pick up the horn afterwards you you hear the the difference and uh, okay that, that's the way to go and that was uh, uh, great and of course one listen it works and you go back home and uh, two three days and again you feel oh no this this is doesn't work doesn't work and you start to renewing with the old system which means oh I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not right here or mm -hmm. and then you call <laughs> back Arnold Jacobs okay uh, I need I need you <laughs> I come back and put back to the machine system to the and more most important of course was the message you have to send right. and how, how uh, loud he told me after a while I managed to have the permission to record my uh, mm -hmm. my lesson as I was foreigner sometimes I couldn't I couldn't catch all in English right. all the subtleties and it was good for me to listen back the lesson and um, I remember him going s close to the mic and said, "You have to send a message. You have to sing. <laughs> Remember, you will have to sing." <laughs> he gave you that special <laughs> message on the tape recorder, huh? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so um, just f uh, for the viewers, mm -hmm. these machines where you're blowing, it's basically it's it's external um, motivation. So you're yes. you're you're. Mm -hmm. um, blowing up a ball or you're yeah we, we have this, this main machine where with a uh, gouger a gauge uh, when you're the gouger yeah, yeah. Uh, when you uh, take hair in and when you blow out hair and he was putting his finger to regulate the the, the probably the resistance yeah 
of it. And uh, that was pretty fine. You, with the eyes, like you were saying, you reinforce, it's a reinforcement of the, of the, the brain to understand w w with what we want to go. And, um, and it was fine. And I remember another thing which worked fantastically with me as well. It's just the, the, the bag. The, the, the five breathing bag, the, breathing the bag, bag. Yeah, the breathing bag. <gasps> Take the air, two or three times, and I play. I see like I was playing a middle C, <sighs> like that. Wow. <laughs> and then you would just use you would use that kind of air in the trumpet. In the trumpet, and it was better. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, that was. Uh, and then I sometimes do do a bit, but now maybe I get older. It's not so efficient. But. <laughs> Okay, not I will not say no so efficient. Uh, um, it's uh, at that time I remember it was uh, black and white really mm -hmm. a lot. Just uh, in terms of the difference before and after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. With thick hair that he was telling us. And so he probably it sounds like mm -hmm. uh, he you know you would come to him with a uh, habits of tightness, mm -hmm. tension, and then he was just using these devices to. Um, break into your into your mind to do something new. Yes, you know exactly. through uh, strangeness. You know because these bags are strange, the gauge is strange. Yes, all yes. these things are strange, and so you're and you're putting the focus on trying to to uh, to get the, the the needle to do this or the bag to do that rather than than uh, feeling the the things. How much time he told me? Don't play by feel, play by song. And I understand that better and better now, since a few years. <laughs> yeah. Now, right. As I perform as well. As I told you, I, I did a concert in Solist one year ago. Mm -hmm. And I tried to... F I knew that's the way to go. But when you get to the stage and you have 2,000 people <laughs> watching you, you breathe and you... you you feel like it, it, it's not empty. <laughs> it's not full. It's not full. Yeah. It's not full. And I, I put very strong message anyway. So the air was not uh, maybe as uh, uh, flexible as it should have been. Should have been. And uh, okay, the concert went. As I went through the movement, it was better. But at the first phrase, well, like a surprise. I mean, I can, okay, mm -hmm. forget it about it. Just play, play. It was getting better. But the good experience of it was the next day. I thought to myself, I will play the same thing at home. Of course, it's at home. If we play, it's great at home. But it was so incredible. I just didn't think about anything. I just play, enjoy it. Probably my message has had been very strong the, the, the day before in front of the people playing anyway, in spite of no much air or etc. But I remember very well this day I understood that there's nothing more to do. Just, just you go for it, you, you, you have it in mind. And it worked. I mean, nothing was out of the way. It was everything perfect with the sound, with ease and everything. So I said, I was the same. Only this changed. So, this is here, first of all. Yeah, and I remember. So it wasn't this. No, it wasn't this. It was Even this. it could have been worse because I had a little bit forced. Maybe it was not so fresh. No, it was so good the day after. I said, okay, I understood even better all the, the Mr. Jacob's teaching, and Chikovic as well, of course. Yeah. yeah. Michelle, you know, you had the opportunity to study with Jacobs and Chikowitz and some with Mr. Herseth. I'm wondering how you would um, compare those three, mm -hmm. those three uh, yeah. teachers. Yeah, of course, mostly... Uh, Chikovic and, and Jacobs. With Arnold Jacobs, uh, I, I counted the, the lesson, it's uh, 52 or 53 lessons with Arnold Jacobs. And uh, as much with Vincent Chikovic. And um, uh, Vincent Chikovic was 
of course more precise about the the trumpet playing in, in terms of the literature and the uh, etude and specifically for the trumpet and mm, mainly his uh, menu like he was writing down the menu the order you are going to practice and you are going to do this and this and he was choosing for each individual a, an etude or passage of, of a concerto mm -hmm. that you could play well but that make you have a bit of challenge on it but not too much that you could play well and it shows the exact etude to do a, a better for maybe 10 days or 2 weeks and this was his very specific uh, about Chekovic, I yeah. say. Very specific path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with Arnold Jacobs, we're more general in the in the uh, attitude to get to play all these different things. Uh, he was not going to tell me you play more this attitude or this one. You just play whatever Chekovic assigned. I was playing for him, and uh, it could be except as well. And um, and uh, and he, he made me okay understand and trying to 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 develop the right reflex response to get that music done mm -hmm. and and with exercise on the machine with the blowing and remind me how to think about the the sound the music and and that kind of. Uh, um, uh, yeah, idea in the mind, uh, image, mm -hmm. must, must have, like this, I, 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 I heard about all the students saying that, but it's true, I remember that, when he said, can you hear Mr. Ursus playing that passage? Mm -hmm. And as I was going to the concert every week, so I could uh, remember how it sounds, and you just mentalize that, and you see him even playing that. And all of a sudden, you sound much better, and it was true. That worked. <laughs> oh, oh, so with Jacobs, all that kind of uh, uh, imaginary, you, you need to put to have all the, the right reflex to, to, to function. And Chikwish was telling the same uh, uh, image as well, but more organized in the music you are going to prepare to get to that certain point mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and with earth I, I didn't play much to him for him but uh, uh, it was talking about music and what I remember all, all the time he, when he was playing a, a passage in Mahler's second he said well uh, Bruno Walter was <laughs> like that this Bruno Walter who premiere the Mahler symphony right. so when he was telling you about a Mahler symphony it, it was like almost Mahler telling you <laughs> how to do the thing so this is uh, exceptional exceptional and what amazed me with Mr. Ersef uh, when he had this trumpet in his hand and he, he was playing for you the passage and it was like the trumpet part of him because you you don't have any preparation or anything. No, look, and you just like like this. There's no no stop between oh, per breathing. Per, no, it was like and you know, this direction. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. And I remember once I went to a concert. He was playing the Hein Concerto as a soloist, and this amazed me. And I remember that all my life because. The introduction of the orchestra was going on, and then on the high concert, uh, bing, pom, pa, pom, pom, and it just did like that. It, it, the trumpet was down here, pom, pom, pa, pom, pom, <laughs> direct. Like trumpet is part of his body. Yeah. Wow. That was. You learn a lot when you 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 listen yeah. and you you see the that way of playing. Yeah, yeah. 
and he reminds me a little bit well, uh, even with Thomas Stevens was the same oh yeah I remember him like uh, yeah. Thomas Stevens <laughs> take the trumpet and place yeah very exciting yeah 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 you know it's interesting to me I uh, of course, I've interviewed many, many people in the United States, Jacob students, um, in Italy, uh, been to Germany, but you're the only French brass player that I'm aware of that studied with Mr. Jacobs, and that's, uh, that I find just, I guess I'm just making a, s a statement of interest, you know, yes. I, it's, I find that really interesting. Yes, yes, it, it seems to, yeah, I, I, I me neither. I don't know any other French uh, trumpet player who studied with uh, with Jacobs or Chikovic. Mm. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, part of your uh, your work here in Strasbourg uh, is uh, to to teach 20, 23, 24 hours a week, mm -hmm. and many of those students, or maybe most or all of them, are um, beginners. They're Beginner, yeah, age six, seven, six, seven, uh, seven yeah, uh -huh. and years old. And two. And, and 12, 15, or four, yeah. but mm -hmm. mostly seven. Yeah. What you know? What do you take from your learning from Jacobs and Chickowitz to these these students, beginners? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you start a beginner, and then just if they're not a beginner, but they're maybe a twelve-year-old? Mm -hmm. um, well, the main thing is to keep it simple and to avoid uh, to 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 try to say. Uh, put your mouthpiece mm, this way or this way or this way uh, and, uh, try to avoid to make their mind full of instruction and instead of that uh, putting in the mind a lot of sounds so I play a lot for them and I try to do the best sound possible and the best example and I Tell them to really the first, the very first day. Here, that's the sound you want to, to, to get. Okay, so buzz, buzzing is important for of course, blowing, of course. We know you are going to use wind, but no more, no big deal with this. Just listen, and that's the way you want to sound, and that's the way I remember Jacobs was uh, telling. That's a better way to 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 tell for a beginner so i i uh, i'm using that kind of advice and it works fine really really fine so you'll you'll demonstrate for the student mm -hmm. and then just have them imitate you yeah first of all yeah first of all and a, a lot of uh, imitation yeah yes. do you a lot of example yeah not for sure how much into the whole work how the embouchure looks and mouthpiece placement and all that? Yeah, all this uh, we, we we just do the minimum, of course. Uh, it has to be here, it's better. Maybe sometimes there is one which goes a little further, but I, you know, it's because he has a part stronger, so it goes where it's strong, and that's it. But as long as it sounds good, uh, I don't have to, to tell anything about uh, mechanics. I try to avoid that as much as possible and um, uh, of course they see me putting the mouthpiece here so they put it here the shots are very simple you tell them to do this and they just do it don't have to tell them how to do it mm -hmm. and this is uh, important yeah. so when you tell them to imitate you what is that doing to their thinking uh, Probably they, they, they have the image very clear of how it has to sound like and the sound. I play for them and they get the sound. Mm -hmm. and, and I think this is the main, uh, main thing because most of them, even every, every one of them, they have a, a very good basis of sound. And I would say, because I play with a yeah. nice, nicely sound I can. Right. <laughs> and and uh, uh, this is um, probably the main, uh, I would say, the main 
feature of my little student they have a sound right away mm -hmm. and and maybe I've heard sometimes some student from other teacher and the, the sound was not so developed or mm -hmm. probably That's probably because of what you're doing things. yes yes I will I will say that yeah I, I will think yeah I think okay. I think the you know if I remember Jacob's talking about um, um, wanting us to be uh, motor nerve musicians you know you have two types of nerves motor nerves action mm -hmm. receptor nerves gathering information so mm -hmm. imparting information motor nerve activity gathering information receptor nerve and a lot of a lot of times we'll teach students in a manner that will really heighten the receptor or the question mm -hmm. asking mm -hmm. while they should be actually in doing motor nerve in imparting information yes so it sounds like that's what's going on with you yeah with your students. Uh, we, 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 we are yeah we are we, we, we are uh, more in that direction that uh, activating the motor nerve more than the sensory nerve mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I'm not so sure that's why uh, I, I avoid them to because of course uh, when you have a mouse piece on the mouse uh, you have feedback and uh, I try to have them forget it about it the most most of the time yes absolutely yeah yeah oh, this for sure yeah yes uh, is there uh, if there is there anything um, I don't know if, if they ask you well how do I do something what do you do you what do you do uh, how I do if, you, if they oh. ask you how do I how do I get this note or ah, how yeah. do I tongue that or how do I well always again uh, by uh, give you an example and uh, listening of the the sound of of it not the methodology mm -hmm. of, 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 of it and and uh, this is the Jacobs uh, principle of course uh, and Shikovic as well of course. right yeah. and, um, and uh, yeah going for for the for the quality uh, the results uh, the the the, the, the and and with for this we have now we have the chance to have some uh, great book. Uh, I went to in 2016. I did a formation for Suzuki method for a trumpet player. And uh, since then they do for all all the brass now for low brass and horn etc. And uh, it is done by Anne Marie Schenberg. She's a specialist. Uh, she first started that thing in 2014. And um, what is the Suzuki method? It's uh, the way of learning music as you learn mother language. You just hear the sound and you reproduce the sound you hear and uh, it can be applied to any, any instrument that's what did Suzuki in the late uh, 40s 50s for the violin first then they apply for piano and they did a good a great job with a small child even before they were three or four years old and they made them learn how to play an instrument as they were learning their own mother language by listening and mm, very important the teacher which is next to the, the child must be in, uh, must be encouraging be positive add a positive attitude with the result they get and uh, the parents are very important too because they have to repeat every day the the kind of uh, attitude towards the child who is learning the instrument and uh, to have them listening the music the recording they put the recording of the music which is on the on the method and uh, they hear the sound of the trumpet uh, it, it's very much by hearing and reproducing what you hear through the technical of produce, producing a, a 
the sound on the trumpet, which is or horn or tuba or trombone, which is uh, the buzzing of the lips, which needs wind. And so uh, the, 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 the way, the approach of the Suzuki method is very, very much like the Jacobs uh, teaching. Yeah, I've, I've often thought that, or I should say long thought, mm -hmm. that there's a symbiosis, a really good relationship between the Suzuki method and mm -hmm. Jacob's pedagogical ideas. Yeah, yeah because of the, the yeah. uh, so much of it is based on sound. Yes, based on, the, uh, you just go for the results, you don't read the, the way you get to the results. And, and, uh, uh, it's not the method; it's the it's the, the outcome, the product. Yeah, the yeah. product, which which is important. And I've seen child in in Sweden, a student of Almer Schenberg, mm -hmm. four years old, and they play their small pocket trumpet, and they they, they sound like they sound, and now like they play things, two five notes, three notes, and uh, they can play staccato notes. They can play, and they only have. Uh, couple of months of instrument that they are here, they just reproduce. Mm -hmm. And they they do this as a game. Yeah. Uh, at that time at that age, of mm -hmm. course you play a lot of games. So you you show them how to how to play through a lot of games. And for them it's not I'm going to play an instrument. I'm going to play but really play right. an instrument. <laughs> and you use these activities, these play mm -hmm. activities you use what you're doing to apply that to the instrument, like the you were exactly. telling me about the yeah. blowing yeah. the the ball, the ball through yeah. uh, when we yeah, yeah so and then you just take that to the instrument, and and that's the way uh, the reflex response is going to to get in the brain, right? The right reflex of blowing wind, right? And not pressure and all right. that. Right. And if you explain to a child, uh, don't blow hard or that. This is not going to, to print here. If you make him blow the ball this way, or and then this is going to understand right away. And then you yeah. For the result, not the methodology. When you play the trumpet, just use the ball, the blowing the ball air, and then then you know what to do right away. It's yeah. simple. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And so you're certified. You're a certified Suzuki instructor. Yes. Since 2017. Wow. Yes. See, and yeah. I didn't, I didn't know any of this existed until <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Well, I showed up here in Strasbourg, okay. and we. Yes, and uh, I'm, uh, I, 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 I'm at the moment, I'm the only one in France who did it. Well, this is really exciting to me, uh, just to, to be thinking that, uh, um, you know, there's mm -hmm. this approach, of, of, excellence of, of sound. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than a focus on the methodology mm -hmm. uh, that's that's getting out there for brass instruments, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, outside of Jacobs, mm -hmm. uh, this is this is really great. And you you mm -hmm. said that there might be how many uh, in certified teachers such as yourself in the brass in uh, in the brass uh, probably around fifteen now in the old world at the moment five zero yeah five oh. zero yeah the, when I finished we were thirty five or thirty six. I was number 35, my colleague who did with me from Sweden was 36, <laughs> and, uh, um, and, and, and it seems to me that last year I saw 45, but I'm not sure so, so one, that, that number. Some in the United States are, uh, are doing, uh, have done the, the qualification. Uh, Anne Marisenberg went there in uh, university, I think, they had a, a, a course during university, and after that, she went to certify them uh, for, for for the method. And uh, so, I know my next colleague here, the closer, is 400 kilometers away in Germany. Uh, maybe there's another one now in Germany. I don't know, uh, but uh, we are few. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Although. I am certified Suzuki. I try to do it. Uh, I am here at what we call the uh, in Strasbourg Institute Suzuki, um, but I am in other school. But other school, they follow a plan of national plan that you cannot start people playing an instrument before seven. So I cannot really start the Suzuki Suzuki approach. 
from what I could do four or five years old sh uh, children and um, not far than yesterday I had to show some young people how to play there were only five if I had the permission uh, I would have taken them in the class <laughs> they already play mm -hmm. I showed them a few things not we did some games with the ball and all that and they sounded great on one note mm -hmm. so uh, it's a matter of uh, keeping going and I'm sure after maybe uh, well, let's say three months they can play uh, three, four, five notes probably Probably with That's great sound, with this approach, yeah, with great sound, yeah, uh, yeah, I, and 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 they do a progress very quickly. I, I remember this little girl yesterday. It, it was like door open in his music school, so they went to try a different instrument. So she came to me. I showed she was very much into it. Okay, this and this. I said, oh, you don't have to blow. This way you can blow this way. Okay, okay, good. But she couldn't do it. She went up to see more the other instrument. Then she came down after half an hour and she arrived and she's perfect. Already had <laughs> made the progress. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, amazing. That's great. They, they, they do quick. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the next day they will, she will have forget again. Forget but right. that, uh, okay. So, little by little, you just show. show. This is a. Uh, the, the most efficient example you, you show how it goes they look at you and I had the experience as well of one parent who was telling that the first note was not starting right away and the parent was saying oh you must put the leg like this and, the, and when you, you see the child trying to do the, what the father was saying and it didn't work at all <laughs> and I was like inside me myself saying don't, don't please don't say anything <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after a while, I felt like the, the child just uh, because it became. I, I show him, I show her, it was a girl, a few more things to try to forget about the lips. And uh, she managed to have, have a sound. And after uh, I felt like she, she inside probably thought, okay, my father, just don't tell me anything. I listen to my teacher now. <laughs> 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 okay, so <laughs> it's a funny experience that uh, it works so much better when you just don't think about the mechanic, especially when you start. Yeah. And so that's getting back to what you referred to earlier as the truth of Jacobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that, that, that that's, uh, that's uh, makes sense. <laughs> that uh, the truth is. Um, uh, you, you, you need to have this uh, supply of air, which is wind, air in motion, Chekhovich flow studies, yeah? And uh, that's must, uh, the, the most important thing is to have the image of the sound you want to get and uh, not interfere with uh, mechanical thought, how to put this or this. In that such a way, or how to feel this or not. Okay, it can work maybe, it seems to work, but when you are in front of an audience, it doesn't work anymore. You cannot think of all these things. So it has really, it, it must be like a, a real reflex when we play. And so, okay, maybe. Some teacher will tell you, yeah, but to have this reflex, you have to think a lot, uh, and you build your reflex. Okay, but uh, I think to build this reflex is just uh, like for saying that. I know it's a yeah. Just okay. the, having the, the sound. The image of yeah. what, uh, what to get, what sound you want to, to, to do. And as I was telling you, I don't know if you can mention that, but I saw some tutorial of uh, James Morrison, fantastic trumpet player, trombone, he plays everything, a good musician. And uh, he said when he's going to play the note, he hears in his mind how it's going to be in this particular moment, in this particular room, 
here as much as detail as possible and is you just let it go and it sounds like he had uh, imagined yeah and it r reminds me that that's the same way of thinking he's a great player so we can believe him <laughs> well um Shell, i can't thank you enough for hosting us here well, it was uh, my pleasure home. yeah to, to uh, see you again <laughs> the, yeah uh, the friends from that period uh, which was a uh, major period yeah yeah of course an important period for both our yeah developments mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um just the, yeah. the the breakfast and the lunch and dinner and the aperitifs and well, well we're in france eh? that's <laughs> that's part of our speciality food <laughs> this is true a wonderful tour of strasbourg and yeah so nice i see nice i feel uh, yeah. i feel a little bit underwhelming for you just to give you this really wonderful um tube of people tv glass great that's all i got <laughs> wow, that's great so, oh good so thank you there you go <laughs> Well, thanks a lot. Okay. All right. <laughs> and now back to you.